Hi, I'm Tana March Jones and I'm a certified Pilates instructor. I'm here at Hagen Oaks to help introduce the new line of Lululemon that they're carrying. They have leggings and clothing uh, and we thought we'd take this opportunity to show off leggings and show you how Pilates can help your golf game. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is Pilates? So Pilates is a method of exercise that uses your own body weight to increase your flexibility and your strength. It uses really deep internal muscles, small guys that help support the spine, the joints, and your bones. And this is integral in golf because we have to keep our spine angle all throughout our entire game. So there are multiple principles in Pilates that go hand in hand with golf. For instance, breath and concentration. We use our breath to connect our physical to our mental. Uh, we use it to engage our core, which is where all of our power comes from. And we also use it to uh, set up a rhythm. For instance, we inhale as we take that backswing and exhale with the downswing and the through, follow through. Precision and control are other principles in Pilates that apply to golf. So for instance, we use specific muscles and we concentrate on using only those primary movers and keeping all the other muscles still. This allows us to help our, us in our rotation, uh, keeping our hips free so they're free to move back and forth, and it also helps us to keep that hip sway from happening. And then we also have balance, which is obviously a huge component of golf. When we're on the driving range, of course, it's just a super flat surface that we're on, so it's no big deal. But when we're out on the fairway, the levels are totally different, right? So you might have a foot up here, or you know, hands or shoulders or whatnot. So we really have to concentrate and learn how to balance in all these different situations. And then finally, there's flow. Flow is really about your rhythm and about the way you connect one movement to the next, which is also super relevant in golf. So I'm super excited to be here to teach you about this. I can guarantee you that Pilates will not only help your golf game and reduce injuries and pain, it will also help you throughout your daily life as you're moving around the world. So why don't you join me? Grab your water bottle and a mat, and I'll meet you on the floor. Okay, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start out with a small warm up, and then we'll move into learning the Pilates breathing technique, as well as some postural elements of Pilates that are really gonna help you with your spine angle. All right, so let's step onto the mat right at the end here. We're gonna have our feet hip distance apart. Um, make sure they're not too wide. I know a lot of people tend to think their hips are way larger than they are, but they're not that big, I promise you. All right, so we're standing on our mat. We wanna set a very nice base here. So see if you can feel uh, like there are four wheels, like a car under each foot, and you can feel the outside, the inside of, of the balls of the feet, as well as the heels. We're gonna have a slight bent knee here and we'll be lifting up on the abdominals. Our shoulders are back and down. Our knees are slightly bent. And I'd like you to take your hands and draw them down toward your knees, just about an inch. And feel the way that those shoulder blades come together in the back and that your chest opens up. This is gonna really help us counterbalance that punching that we do every day over that computer. All right, so let's take a nice inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth as if you're blowing out of a straw. Again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. You can make an audible sound there. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. See if you can feel like you're really wringing out your organs as you exhale. One more here. Inhaling in. Exhaling through the mouth. 
really feeling those abdominal muscles contract. So we inhale one more time here. And we'll exhale as we lean over to the side, lifting up and out of the ribs, lengthening through the spine, and really feeling a nice stretch here through the side. Exhale as we come back up to center. Then we inhale and go over the other way, making sure it's like we're between two panes of glass. We do one more here to each side because it feels so good. Inhaling to the side, keeping that belly lifted and extending straight through that spine, nice and long. Exhale, center, and inhale the other way. And we exhale, center. Take one more inhale here, and then we're gonna tuck the chin and scoop up that belly and roll down one vertebra at a time, like we're a candy cane. Trying to keep the hips over the heels the whole time. We're all the way down, go as far as you can, and just stretch there for a second. Feel those hamstrings release and feel that neck release. Take one more inhale here, and then exhale as we scoop that belly and roll on up with a heavy head, a vertebra at a time, trying to keep the hips over the heels and that weight is forward. Stacking that spine nice and tall, and one more time. Here we go, we're tucking the chin, scooping that belly, and going over a big beach ball. Oh. There we go, keeping that weight forward. Holding here. Just stretching those hamstrings. Now I want you to take one more inhale here, and then exhale as you bring your hands down to the mat. You may need to uh, bend your legs, and that's fine. And we're just gonna walk straight out here into a pike position. This is also known in yoga as a downward facing dog, if you've ever done that. And the idea here is to be stretching behind the legs. We're really pressing that tailbone up to the sky behind us, still pressing through the feet and squeezing through those armpits, pressing through each pad of the finger and relaxing that head. Breathing deeply. Inhale through the nose, and then exhale as we come on down to our knees. 